Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today in history, we have a, a little two-parter. So Sunday was the anniversary of uh, President Kennedy's assassination. Now, I don't really dive too deep into conspiracy theories because um, that's really not my, my deal. Uh, but if you are a fan of conspiracy theories, jump into the JFK assassination because you can go down a rabbit hole of information. But today is the anniversary, uh, same year, 1963, just happens to be November 24th, is the uh, assassination of the assassin. So JFK was killed by Lee Harvey Oswald. Lee Harvey Oswald was killed by a Dallas nightclub uh, manager by the name of uh, Jack Ruby, which sounds like it comes straight out of a novel. That's because it's a fake name. His real name was Jacob Rubenstein. However, Jack Ruby sounds a lot cooler. A uh, very long story short was when they were transferring Lee Harvey Oswald to a more secure facility. Jack Ruby was in a crowd of uh, police officers and reporters. He steps up, shoots uh, shoots Lee Harvey Oswald, claiming basically like temporary insanity that the, uh, the death of the president was such a highly emotional event that he suffered some kind of psychosis. Uh, gets, even though some people consider him to be a patriot, he gets uh, put on trial, goes to jail. But then there's an appeal because they didn't think he could get a fair trial given the high emotional state and the location of where the crime took place. Um, but he dies of cancer inside the uh, inside of prison. Here's the thing: I've seen a lot of documentaries uh, involving uh, the Kennedy assassination and um, and a couple of different theories. Whether it was the CIA because of Kennedy's the the botch job that happened in Cuba uh, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, because Kennedy also wanted to move away from the CIA. Uh, whether the mob was involved, it, it kind of goes in a lot of different directions, but. Um, uh, if you're a conspiracy theory nut, it gets even weirder because five years later, 1968, there's a great documentary called It All Happened in 68. But uh, Robert Kennedy's brother, I'm sorry, Robert Kennedy, the brother of JFK, who was pretty much set to be the next president, was assassinated while walking through a hotel kitchen. And that one gets even weirder because Sirhan Sirhan, the assassin, the assassin, has no recollection of the event. Truly a weird, weird thing. But, um, hey, what are you going to do? Catch you guys later.